friend of mine, uh, Ed Casey, sent me this to take a look at what I just showed you that, uh, whatever it was here, this, the paint mines. Well, actually, I don't know if I even showed you that. No, I didn't. These are the paint mines uh, in um, Interpretive Park. And you see, again, these are layers of tissue, and those are transition metal colors. And transition metals are right in here, and they give and take extra electrons, which may be able to bond and discharge different materials in different biological systems. That's how you get rid of toxins and you move and absorb glucose and oxygen and carbon dioxide. You do all this stuff back and forth. And they, these exact transition, well, there's other ones too, but most of it's done here with these, and these have specific colors, and that's why you get these colors. And they're spectacular. And sometimes they can really get spectacular in opals and so forth. Anyway, let me show you what transition metal colors are. Hello, my good friends. This is just amazing. This is Roger Spur, and I am from Mud Fossil University. However, I believe we're going to start a new school, which just changes everything, because everything needs to be corrected. Every single morning I wake up and I say nothing can can blow me away anymore and whoop, there it is not only this wait till you hear what's chapter nine in enoch book three says <laughs> i'll read you what it says it's well i'll read it to you in a minute but look at this landscape what do you see <laughs> that that's not like you know i don't look out my backyard and see that do you all right, you see what you're looking at there? Look at that. This is literally a layer of tissue, which is, you know, like a membrane, and then you have your fleshy thing, and then you have another layer of whatever, collagen or carrageen or, or interstitial or whatever it is. But this is all biology. Look at that. It's all biology. You don't see, that's not normal. That's not just from runoff. And then you see the abrupt transitions. Now, I'm starting to wonder whether this is from a lung. You see how they have this very enhanced? Somebody really wanted to see this. And then they, you know, that's how they do things on Google Earth. Every now and then you'll see a really enhanced place. And they want to see what it is. But you see this? This isn't what your average situation is. Now, and I understand biology and the internal organs extremely well. And, um, and these are some form of biology. And when you see these colors, that's like bile or acids or salts. They have salt flats out here, which is kidneys. See the different color, different color? And then there's blue ones, the real deep blue ones. And um, they have all kinds of different colored you know, little lakes and things that are the biological areas. Look, look at these different colors down here. What is that all about? That's, these are, you know, you have bile, you have stomach acids, you have kidneys, you have um, liver. you got all kinds of things going on in you. And, they, and the earth is a creature, and the earth is carcasses, and that's just, Jesus said it. And I'm not going to tell him he's wrong. Okay, I believe I showed you the transition metals, and they're in the center of the periodic chart, which I believe I showed you too. And these are the different colors, and that's why, uh, this is a lung, and it's a very small lung. And um, I'm going to show it. It's sliced in half so you can see inside how all these, these uh, it's a little wet here. The wetness brings out the colors, all those little balls underneath. That's how I stabilize these things so they sit flat. That little magnetic ball thing works great. Um, now, you can see, you see all those little different colors? Every one of those was a little alveoli. This is the outside of the lung, uh, and it has the same sort of look to it. 
That's not a, just a concretion of some sort. That is a, actually a lung. Now, I'm going to show you, um, let's see if I can find some fabric here you can see. Hold on. Well, you should be able to see, you see this rounded spot here? That's fabric that was attached here. This is fabric on the outside, and on the inside, you see all these passages through here? Watch. I'm going to twist it sideways until we get the shine. You see all the shining? Those are all of the alveoli that are now turned to crystal. See it? Watch when I twist it. See in between each one of those? That's all blood transferring the oxygen into those transition metals. Now this could be a, a liver, I don't know, because there is a lot of different transition metals. Livers have, well, you know, your lung and your heart, they all have the same thing, you got a lot of blood in them. So when, when you die, and all that blood is stuck in that organ, it finds its way into these alveoli and attaches to silicates which is down in the lower part of the periodic chart, silicon. And it has the ability, it's almost like carbon, and it has the ability to attach to all of these transition metals and turn them into um, silicon dioxide and all kind of different silicates with all these different colored transition metals stuck to them. And I'll show you what, well, I probably already have shown you the transition metals, but we'll see it again. Isn't this cool? Look at this blue and every different color you can think of. You see when I twist it? You see which ones have these different colors? I could look at this stuff all day long, which I do. <laughs> Now I can put this right down on top here and we can see really close up exactly what this is. I'm sort of freehanding it now. And outside of this there's usually interstitching. Which is what's out here, this little fabricy looking stuff. Let me come right up next to it. Hold on, let me anchor it. All right, now let's see what we can see. All right, this is on the outside. Do you see this gooey looking, webby looking stuff? That is the fabric that coats this lung. I believe it's a lung. And down here is that little tiny flap. You see that flap right there? That is what is a, is a flap of interstitching which s locks this organ into the rest of the body. I have another one right here I'm going to show you in a second that um, is the same flap. They all have this flap and now they just re recognize it's, they call it a new organ system, the interstitium. And I believe it's from my research, actually. Because they didn't realize all of these things had these tiny little webby balls in them. I, I don't think you're going to see it in this. But you might. But whatever it is, it's just this coating. Now, on the other inside was this was the um, crystals and the blood. All right. So now we can see both things. And this is the edge. And on different areas in the lungs and in the heart, there's going to be different minerals that go to those areas because they they want to stabilize with certain transition metals. Like that right there, that's the flap. 
Well, wait a minute, is that that flap or is it another one? Because there's a couple of flaps. No, I guess that's the one. And that thing really grabs in. All these little things are like little tongues. I'll show you the one I have here and uh, and what actually the lung or any body part attaching to an, the rest of the body has to grab in. It's I call it the fascia latch or the interstitial latch. See this? There's a blood vessel right there. You see? That's where blood comes and feeds whatever this was here. Well, it doesn't feed it, the whole thing, maybe, but it, it looks like a pretty serious blood vessel. And then you, you have, like, a vein and an artery usually very close to each other. There's some more. You see the holes? Wherever you see the holes, that's where blood vessels are. They're going down to feed some blood. There's a red one right there. That's arterial. Okay. All these little flaky, fabricy looking things. That is what makes up the tissue of the lung. I'm going to show you the the lung that I had DNA certified as human. I took the, the samples out and I sent them off and they said what the, I sent them was human. So if I faked it, I faked it. I did not fake it. Look at all that stuff. Isn't that intriguing? You see all the holes? All those holes are places where the, something was going through there. Blood was feeding and then they fill up with silicates, you see? And there's places like uh, Herkimer diamonds are not diamonds. They are these things right here. They're crystals that fill into the, they call them vugs, which are the holes, which were the cavities from the um, alveoli. And then they fill in with different crystals. Sometimes they're colored. Sometimes they're just plain clear and they look like diamonds. These are the ones over here. You might confuse that for a raw diamond. And then down, some of them have actually have all the facets and everything on. I have some here that have all the facets and all that. You see, I have, I, uh, well, I got so much stuff here I could go on for days and weeks and months and years and millennia. But you see, it depends on the size of the creature, but around the blood vessels and in the veins and the, uh, sometimes the arteries, primary, well, both, they fill up with silicates. Now, before when I was talking about the interstitium, the, the, which is this fabric that coats everything, it's coating this meat, and it separates it from whatever is it, the organs and your guts and all that stuff. Now, this flap, though, is a latch, and it holds this section of your body to another section of your body. It's the way it works. And here's, here's the actual autopsy-looking latch. And it's the same thing. It's exactly the same latch. And that's exactly the same tissue. And that's how this organ, whatever this was, attaches into the rest of your body system. It's now a considered a, a new organ system, which is interstitium. It is, it, it's how your whole body gets held together. Otherwise, your, your, your kidney would be up in your throat someday. You know, you jump hard enough. <laughs> All right, I've been doing working on different rocks and things, obviously, but I just took my dog out, and the frost heaves push up these rocks up, and I saw this one, and I, I know what it is, and I saw the moss, and I talk about the different types of moss. There's moss and there's lichen, and they grow on different types of blood. I know what this is, and we'll be talking about it in a minute. I know what this is, too. 
and you probably know just by looking at it, but we'll be looking at this in the microscope after I clean them up. But I want to show you before I clean them up, and then we'll take a look and see if there's any identifying things here that might make sense to you going down the road. All right. So these, they, they just, I just pick them up off the. I, I do this all the time. I pick them up every day. All right, I'm just going to leave you with this. Researchers just discovered intact brain cells of a man killed by Mount Vesuvius eruption. This is 2,000 years ago. They just, they just never been looking for this stuff until I discovered, well, until it was discovered by me, really, <laughs> that you could re recover this stuff. I had DNA done on giants six years ago, and it was so rejected against that I ended up with police and lawyers coming after me to tell me to stop bothering academics. That's not a lie. That is an absolute fact, because they were so upset about having their doctrine overturned, and now their time has come, okay? Our time has come.